Okay, I'm just about to go into Asda and see what the queues are like. Don't forget, uh, if you like the video I produce, press the like button, and more importantly, smash that subscribe button. And you'll get the updates every time I produce a new video. This one will go out. So when this one goes out, within a day or two, I'll produce the next vlog. Thank you for watching and enjoy the experience. Okay, so I'm in the queue now to get into Asda. Uh, the queue is uh, two meters apart. It's, um, it's the first time since I, I tried to come yesterday, but I was shocked by the length of the queue, so I didn't come here. Yesterday, I went to the butcher's uh, Londres next door, and then the Sainsbury's didn't have any you know, queuing, so I went and got in the basically small Sainsbury's. But here we go, we're gonna see what Asda's like, maybe what, a week and a half, two weeks after the time I came last time. We'll see if the shop. Okay, so there was a flurry of activity. We got along um, probably from just around there to where I am now in, in no time at all, and then <coughs> ground to a halt. So we're just waiting now to go in. Anyway, the, the, the mood is, uh, is, is fairly cheerful with some people. No one's complaining, and uh, that's what we're, we're facing with nowadays, I guess. And as you get near to the uh, store, they've actually marked out, if you can see it, they've marked out the uh, places you're meant to stand apart. Uh, but further back, that wasn't the case. But, um, and we're at the front of the queue. And there's a man here looking after everything. And they saying, oh, and I'll get in. Here we go. Thank you, sir. And now we get in onto the travelator. And we'll see what it's like in the shop in a moment. How exciting! Well, we're in, and there appears to be like arrows on the floor, as you can see. So you can only go down certain aisles in certain directions. That's interesting. A few shelves, even in the homeware aisles, are empty. Or, or like, why people would be buying all the cushions? I don't know. Temporarily out of stock of throws, or some certain, and then some picture frames as well. I think that might not be for bulk buying. It might be that they're not actually getting produced and they're not in the pipeline anymore. So there are going to be various things that you cannot buy now. Now, have they got a gaming headset? There's some, head some headsets here. Okay. Wireless headsets. Well, we'll have a look at that and we'll... Most of this, some of this stock is out as well, presumably because it's not being produced or arriving from China. That's going to be a problem in the coming months people may not have thought of. Okay, now I'm in the Easter egg aisle. It's, uh, I don't know, a few weeks to Easter. They've got all the Easter eggs in. And that's actually quite an interesting thing because <coughs> that means they've been using the, the lorries to bring Easter eggs. The seasonal sales, they've already got them in stock. They brought them. Where the kids want their Easter eggs? Everyone likes their Easter eggs. But there's going to be fewer Easter eggs given, I think, this year because people cannot see each other. But well, there we are. Now we're going to carry on walking around the, the shop and see what uh, what there is. Um, I've bought um, I bought things from uh, for, for tonight, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to have I'm going to have steak again, I think. So I need to got some potatoes. I could probably do with some more if there are any. Can't see any. Baby pack of there we go. There we go. Baby pack of potatoes. Eighth of April. We'll buy them. We need them. I've got onions. So we're we're finding there are some empty shelves here. If you look at this, um, tomatoes too. There's some good dates on some of these. But again, like last time, they're not they're not clearing them so you can see what's underneath. Uh, over here, of course, is empty, but where it looks empty here is not. Again, that's the shop, I guess. And then over there, there's some products that looks like are empty and uh, clearly are not. And we're in the fruit aisle, and of course, bananas. There's uh, no flights much coming around the world, so uh, I guess there might still be containers coming in. But the bananas are out, apart from a few here. So we're starting to see, as I predicted, certain. And lots of things that are normally over here that I guess the shop can't get in anymore or when they come in 
uh, celery, lettuce, celery, celery, it's all celery, avocados. So these are things that may be coming in from abroad and we're not growing over here. So uh, we walk around the shop now in a particular way. Um, ready meals, plenty of ready meals, I don't want a ready meal. Appears to be bacon. Oh no, some of the bacon shelves are getting empty now. Um, that's interesting. I do want to buy some bacon, so when this lady's finished, I'll go over there. People not necessarily observing the the correct distances, but um, uh, some bacon with a good date on it. So you get good dates on bacon. It's always there in the sh in the fridge if you need it. Um, there is there is there is meat now on the shelves. Look, this is uh, this is good. Lamb with good dates on it. But I don't know that um, I'd be able to get uh, better vegetables. So hmm, there's braising steak there as well, which would make rather a nice uh, stew. So maybe we get to, maybe we'll make a stew. Seventh of April gives me time to make a stew. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Casserole. And of course we also need some more sweet clems, I think. Yeah, a few more sweet clems for vitamin C. They have actually got chicken now. Wow, that's the first time I've seen chicken. And some of this, whatever these shelves are empty. These are Yorkshire puddings. Chicken, no... Uh, Chicken rib or something, whatever that is. It's meant to be chicken fillets, but there are some chicken, there is some chicken. And some chicken above as well. So that's all good. People not really ever observing the, the two meters distance. So just a few single carrots so I can find a bag. And in the UK, the we don't have to price it up at the point. We, we put it in a bag. We do that at the checkout. So people are not taking notice. Look at this lady walking down this aisle, walking in the wrong direction. People are not taking notice of the arrows. It's quite uh, annoying, really. But uh, they're there for a reason. And uh, people don't seem to want to bother. They think it's uh, not really a problem. It's quite surprising. It really is quite surprising. We've seen the number of deaths going up to huge amounts now. Um, and they don't really care, they don't seem to think it bothers them. Okay, so we come to the end where there's fish, and obviously it's a bit further along from where the um, ready meals are. We actually find that there's fresh pasta in the shops. Not so much of it, but <coughs> certainly plenty for now. So there is appear, appears to be fresh pasta. I don't know if it's fresh pasta, or whether it was something else that ran out of, uh, ran out in the shops. But it's here again, and we've got, uh, orange juice as well so well, they haven't cleared the boxes away again okay and uh, the last time i've done this there was some uh, serious problems with the tomato sauce aisle. well look i'm pretty I'm happy to say that tomato sauce aisles are now mostly full the um ones at the top maybe is gone but uh, yeah plenty of tomato sauce in here now what are those vegetable oils because they were running out of vegetable oil last time we came in here Let's see how they're getting on. Do they have any? No, they're still a bit low. They've still got some crisp and dry, spry crisp and dry, the expensive stuff. Um, but it's still low on, on vegetable oils. Okay, this is the pasta. Dried pasta and there is a little bit. Um, more than last time, there's some, uh, you can see over there, there's some macaroni. And uh, people not observing the two meter rule, just pushing through, going the wrong way down aisles. It's clearly strange. So there is some um, macaroni now and some spaghetti. Um, so yeah, there are some um, there are some sp some pasta. Is that pasta sheets or spaghetti? Smart price spaghetti, I think. So yes, there's spaghetti and there's some stuff to go with spaghetti as well. So whilst it's uh, a little bare and the soups are back as well, so that's uh, good to see. I think we're getting through these supply problems now. Um, we shouldn't really worry too much. 
and here we are in the egg tea coffee biscuit aisle and look we've got uh, long life milk again there are certainly eggs not all the full choice but there are eggs available on the more expensive side but there are definitely eggs there this man's availing himself of some <laughs> and why not why not? We've finally realised how nice it is to have eggs. And baked beans are on the shelf too, look. So there are baked beans now since last time I've done this video. It's uh, it's getting the shelves, there's still shelves that are empty, but now I think we're, we're seeing some improvements. Please note there's also sugar now. So what have we got? Normal sugar, not just Demerara. It's uh, useful. There's not really much that's missing on the shelves these days, apart from things that we probably bring in from outside of the UK. Um, I, I'm happy to say, I'm pleased to say there's a lot of stock in the, in the, in the shop here. Uh, tea, has tea been hit? Is there any PG tips again? Yeah, there is, but I've, I've got some now. Yeah, PG tips in big, oh wow, the big ones are back. But I bought a couple of smaller ones, so I'll wait till they run out first. I'm sure they'll get PG tips back. Although the tea comes in from India, who knows? So let's get some biscuits and uh, move on to the next aisle. Okay, now we're in the we're in the bread aisle. We're in the bread and the bakery aisle. And uh, actually, there's not an improvement here. Yeah, I have to say the flour. There's some corn flour here for thickening. Uh, some dumpling mix. Some, some yeah. All the flour appears still to be struggling we're struggling with flour um whatever this stuff is there's some more empty shelves there it isn't as bad as it was i have to say there's tinned some tinned fruits here pineapple chunks apple slices grapefruit segments pear halves yes and then we've obviously got quite a bit of bread here too and um there's a little bit empty in places on the bread aisle Cakes are still there if you want to buy birthday cakes, but I can't see any birthday parties happening. Okay, I was down this aisle um, and I forgot to video, but uh, I was surprised. I was really happy. They had paracetamol, they had ibuprofen, they had uh, a few, and uh, I picked one up, they had a few of these Carex hand soaps. They had about, uh, well, quite a few actually, and lots of other soap as well. So. There's certainly the soap starting, I'd say they're halfway, maybe a third of the way there of being finished now. So let's see the toilet rolls. Are there any toilet rolls in the shops anymore? Well, police to report that there are. Shades of four, shades, Andrex, Cushel, and there's choice, not just, and there's the 12s and the 16s. Uh, plenty, plenty. So I don't think any any of my viewers need to worry anymore about toilet roll if you've been holding on to yourself no need to buy modium anymore guys and girls we can actually use the toilets again look at so many so many in, in it's i never thought i'd feel so pleased to see basic things on the shelves it makes you think doesn't it Okay, and if you're worried about your cats uh, and your cat food, I can report that there are plenty of packets of cat food back on the shelf. I think it was the same, this looks like it's the same with, with dog food further along. A few things that are missing still though are um, some uh, Dettol sprays, so sprays that are going to clear things up uh, are still missing. There's empty shelves here for Dettol wipes as well. Dishwashers are emptying now, so they're still fairy liquid which I'm going to buy some I need to buy some but there's only the fairy I normally buy the cheap cheap ones but okay I'll buy the fairy liquid yeah, no worries. and if you're in front of us you can see there are some drinks and there's plenty of drinks there I wonder what the beer and the wine are look like now again um, here we go all right mate uh, seems pleasant enough but he's going completely against uh, his anti-social going against the lines I'm meant to be going in the direction I was walking in Yep, this is it. This is the the drink aisle. You guessed it. Let's just look at the vodka again uh, first, like I did last time. And yes, of course, this time the uh, Russian vodkas have been going. The Russian vodkas have been going, but the Smirnoff number 21 is there. I think it was the other way around last time. Um, maybe people need a change. Yeah, Russian um, 
that says, as you say, Ruski Standard. So it's just stand, Russian Standard. There you are, Russian Standard. Just the Russian Standard uh, vodka. But it's been going off the shelves. 15 pounds. Eight pounds for a small one. Which is cheaper than the uh, number 21 small. But the Smirnoff, uh, the um, larger size is actually cheaper. So it's incredibly cheaper compared to the price of the, the small one. There's a discrepancy in price there. This side is, uh, there are some entities. Not too many. Dark rum again. Dark rum, there's some dark rum gone, some dark rum left. But it's the beers. I want to know about the beers. I'd heard that the beers had been hit heavily. I don't know if that's true. Uh, it certainly looks like the lagers, some of the lagers and the ciders are still here. Um, oh, we got beers. Look, Doombar, Di Director's Ale. Uh, and, and, and many others, Newcastle, Brown Owl, Wai Lad, and Bass. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get uh, two or three beers. Um, and I'm almost at the end of my shop now. But there's the emptying, it's certainly empty, uh, very empty on the wine side. So people are enjoying the high life, having nice glasses of wine with their meal every night, because they've got the time now. The red wines for sure, the white wines too. White wines are getting fairly empty too. But there's, there's still plenty of choices. There's nothing to worry about. Um, yeah. So, now to buy some beer. And I think I'll probably go for one of these cheap basses at a pound. One pound for a bass. That's uh, unbelievable. Okay, we'll finish up now with, this, uh, with the frozen isles. We've got the frozen fish. Some fish there. Some fish, some that are empty. Um, vegetables, plenty of peas, um, vegetable rice, some empties there, croquets, some some empty shelves and some less empty shelves. Well, maybe that's production difficulties rather than distribution. Uh, it's difficult to say there's certainly fish and fish fingers are available um, down here. Pizzas, pies, and um, gap there, what is this? chicken strips. There's a kid about this sort of stuff. So, and the kids are off, aren't they? So we need to make sure we're feeding them stuff that's very unhealthy. So we are. That's the ice creams are still available, um, surprisingly. Ready meals down here also to, uh, to buy if you want to. So that's it. I think um, that's pretty much the end of the shopping trip. Maybe I'll have a... Uh, we'll see what happens as I go through the, the, the payment aisles. But uh, yes, it hasn't been that bad. Mostly what I want is here. And this is the uh, checkout. There is a bit of a queue, but they've got markings on the floor. Again, which is which is good. It means that uh, again, for a, for a little way anyway, you know how far to stand apart. Um, but people are still walk past me here, so difficult. Okay, and they're still queuing to get in, but there's plenty on the shelf. I found that to be quite a reasonable experience people going the wrong way down the aisles though they just can't they're just ignorant really um that's a problem most people try to keep their distance but it's difficult if you're going the wrong way down the aisles and just overtaking people but overall with the foods when i felt were in the shop it was a reasonable experience it didn't take too long to get in because i don't like queuing i don't like line as they say in america so it's yeah it's uh, it's not as bad as it was I would report that uh, we're going to. The nation can certainly feed itself now, but it's a little bit more um, of, a, of a palaver, shall we say, to get ourselves fed. We've got a queue, and we can't always get exactly what we want, but um, we can certainly get food and drink. Yeah. Don't forget, if you enjoy the content, or even if you don't, press the like button and subscribe and that way you'll get the updates when new content becomes available. See you next time.